Now that we knew who was causing all our misfortune, aka Jason, the literal 14-year-old brainchild of Bitter Bonsai 8, the same group that hacked us and kidnapped our friend, we could meet up and hatch a plan, breaking off into separate groups. Mimi and Jamie were tasked with holding down the office while we were gone. I knew one of the Bitter Bonsai members because I met him at his family-run bike shop a while back. Parker and I would go there together to steal the boy, taking him away for interrogation. Kib and James were supposed to do the street work, patrol places Jason might be. All in all, we were ready. Ready for anything. <laughs> Jesus! No, that's a good plan. Do you know the plan? Well, it's fucking smudged now. It's smudged, so I'm thinking... No. No, I don't know. I don't know the plan. Exciting, dude! No. Two boys. Vigilantes. Nothing can stop us. Solving all the crime in the world. Until... We get a little taste of the dark side and we realize... We've become what we've feared the most in this world. The dark side. Are you listening, James? Vigilantes? Were you talking to me that entire time? Holy shit, I thought you were on the phone. No, I was talking to fucking Alfredo, dude. Are you coming to my TED talk later? It's about picking out the scabs I can find off of dogs until I have enough scabs. Yuck! I gotta run to my car real quick. Can you just stay here? I'll, I'll literally be right back. Yeah, just, just think about quick, the vigilantes really thing. It's okay, exciting. sure, sure, sure. All right. <sighs> kind of hot. Great. Hey, um, so something just came up. Can you just hang out for like 30 minutes and wait for me? I'll be back. I just have to take care of something real quick. Do what you need to do, my dude. I've got it under control. I forgot to mention to James that Kib's been taking methamphetamines lately. He usually takes a couple dabs in the morning, a couple dabs in the evening. It allows him to travel great distances in a short amount of time. That's why I wanted James to stick by his side the entire day. Otherwise, they would be separated almost instantly. What is that in the background? Is that propellers? Where are you? Let me know when you're ready for departure. Plan to depart northbound. Uh, we can depart northbound and we're ready to go right now. Whatever I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. Yeah, I've got a Boeing 42817 Spider. Should be no problem for you, I bet. I hopped in that U-Haul van. Any pessimists, I ain't talk to them. You go like this, you really feel like you're just running. If Kib and James couldn't find Jason's location, maybe Parker and I could. We were nearing the bike shop, and I wanted to make sure Parker had the plan locked down. All right, go. let's go over this one more time. We're gonna go to the bike store. Yep. You're gonna go inside. Yep. And then what happens? And then... I see the kid, I ask for his insurance card, um, oh man, I don't remember, I'm sorry. Okay, that's... Can we go over it one more time? Absolutely, yeah, we can go yeah. over it one more time. Yeah. When does the insurance part come in? No insurance. Okay, we go inside, I groom him until he's comfortable, I lure him outside, and then you put your hands on him. Jesus Christ. Parker forgot the most important part of the plan. And then, I'm gonna make the child come with us to... Off to an alleyway somewhere. I don't know. And then we get his insurance. No, nothing just about in no, case no. He falls. Nothing just in about case insurance. He bruises himself. I want to make sure that he's comfortable. Just hopefully. come on. Okay. If we couldn't make this little boy come, then I don't think I could look myself in the eyes. I did wonder though how Mimi and Jamie were handling locking down the fort in our absence. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit, and that looks. Mimi. But what? Come out. What's going on? It's just that uh, I need a hug from my favorite ethnically ambiguous girl. Can I have a little hug? You can have a little one. A little one? Shit, that can be one of those bonsai brats. Did you lock the door? I haven't done anything that would help. Get the quill and the girl with the rotten tomato! Hey! Okay, Alfredo, I'm so sorry. This is like a really bad time. Can you come back in like a day or two? If I hear this correctly, I believe you're kicking me out of my own office. Okay, it's only just just for a couple of days. Is that okay? Both of you will rue the day you set foot here. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about the way that went. Can you help me set up the cameras, or are you just going to sit there all day? I'm not sure. I was confident that Mimi and Jamie would keep our office secure, but I wasn't as confident in Kib. Can we go over to the left? I think I see him. I'm going left right now, man. No, that's not him. Just a grizzly bear. He'd mentioned something about an aerial view of Los Angeles to find Jason, and I thought, cool. Then, I got an email that said, Hollywood Helicopter Tour. There's Warner Brothers Studios down there. That's all great, but where's the... That's Griffith Park, you yeah. might be over there. There's a lot of parking. 
We're trying to find him, so if we could stay on task here. It was up to me and Parker to get anything done, because Lord knows what Kib and James would accomplish. And it was especially worrying not having any updates from James, who was their group leader. I wondered, what could possibly be distracting him? Rocket Man! It's tremendous to see you. Come in. I am cooking ratatouille. I'm actually a little pressed for time. You we do just... like ratatouille, right? I can't eat it all myself. Yeah, I love it. I, lo I love the idea of it. I love the movie. Even we could watch the movie <laughs> while we while we eat. Come in. I gotta chop some scallions. <clears throat> Hello, little boy. Um, I, I am here because I have a bicycle that needs to be repaired, so if you want to accompany me to the outskirts of outside to repair it outside because of my bicycle's tires. Okay. And over here you will find my bike that needs to be repaired. Clearly you see it is broken, but how would we, how do I ever get anywhere if the bike is broken and it needs to be repaired and <clears throat> how will I get to school, how will I get to Stephen? That was my cue. I was nervous about my sack. Was it too small for the little boy or was my sack too big for him? How was I going to trap him with an ill-fitted sack? The answer, easily. Oh shit, it's dark, it's going dark! Uh, it's moist, no, oh fuck. You take him oh shit. I don't wanna, I don't wanna come see me. Child molester. I don't wanna come, don't, please don't say that. Oh shit. Oh, we'll, stop, oh, we'll stop talking about our plans I feel out loud. Stiffy. It was almost 11, and I still hadn't heard a word from James or Kib. You normally get a little, a little feel, a little sicky. Oh, when you're up this high. Oh, Only if I've been drinking. I think it's the altitude. Wow. Oh, we well, at 800 feet. Oh man. Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't heard from Kib, James, or even Mimi and Jamie. Okay, record everything. If we can catch those little bastards on camera, we can send this footage to the police, okay? Okay, got it. And now we play the waiting game. Jamie, look at the tank. What's, what's going on with the tank? Oh, weird. Oh my god, Jamie, what oh, is that? What Jesus. is that? Jesus Christ, what the what fuck? That? Oh, Mimi, look at the whiteboard. Jamie, Jamie, look, look behind you. What are you guys doing? We're doing Lisa's documentary class project starring me. Boring. Oh, God! Turn it off! Turn it off! I stand corrected about hearing from Mimi. She did call me, and I didn't respond, because she's our scheduling manager at SP7, and I assumed it was going to be about work, and I'd much prefer to put that off until the last minute. James, on the other hand, still hadn't contacted me. I know I told you I lived in the hills, but... My ex-wife, she's Dominican. I slapped her son and she took everything. In any case, you just have to breathe. It's my job sometimes to make sure my clients enjoy what they have, savor their experiences, and just breathe. In and out, breathe. You accept the circumstances and you breathe. Rocket man, fucking breathe! Good boy. Rocket man, would you like a drink? Since the morning. It's happy hour in Baghdad. Yeah, why not? I'll, I'll, I'll take a drink. <laughs> Phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it. What a waste of time. Jesus. $6,000 for 14 hours of flying and for nothing. Ugh, what a waste of time. Ugh, how the fuck you find me, ma'am? I knew he was playing mind games with me. I was standing three feet away. It's impossible that he thought I was a woman. I decided not to even humor the boy by correcting him, saying that I'm not actually a woman. Well, I'm not, first off, I'm not a woman. I met you before and I, and I know where you work. I met you at your place of work. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't think you'd connect the dots on account of your, um, your, your issues. No, I could easily connect the dots. It was, it was very simple. 
I could tell he was nervous. That means he would be easy to crack. I was confident he would tell me everything I needed to know. There was only one issue. I'll let you guess what it was. Did you guess Parker? Tell us where the treasure is. No, Parker, this isn't, uh, do you know what this is, right? I don't, I wasn't informed. I didn't go to the meeting. Okay, so, kid was kidnapped? No. Kid oh, no. Kidnapped? Yeah, okay, no, he's, uh, he was kidnapped earlier. It's funny, right? <laughs> this is serious, I'm sorry. We were getting nowhere, but I did have a plan B in case stealing the boy wasn't scaring him enough. And plan B was threatening him. Okay, look, either you tell me where to find Jason, or I'm gonna turn your family business into just a you business. Does that make sense? It already is just a me business. I was flambéed with anger. First he calls me a woman, which I would have no problem with if I was a woman. And then he calls me stupid, thinking that I wouldn't remember where he worked. And now he's calling me stupid again for not remembering that he works in that shop with his dad. So I took the high ground. I mocked his accent. Oh, me and my daddy loves mixing us up some mechanical parts, fixing fucking bikes, rooting, tooting good time, day in and day out, fixing up wheels and shit. <gasps> my daddy's dead. Sure, I believe that. Call me stupid once. Shame on you. Call me stupid twice. Shame on me. Call me stupid a third time. Why do you keep calling me stupid? So, I did the only thing I thought was right. Make fun of his accent again. Oh no, my daddy's dead. Oh jeez. He died in a tire iron accident back in 1910, fixed up in 1965. Mountain Bike Express. 20 minutes after you left, I called an ambulance. Because he was about to pass out. But we live in a really bad area, so they didn't show up until he, after he was dead. Huh? Steven, what? His dad died. We got, let's get him like a cake or something. I would love a cake. Okay, sure. We'll get we'll get him a cake. Throw him like a like a daddy's dead like birthday. Party. Nobody throws a daddy's dead party. That doesn't make any Can sense. Can the candles be little dicks? How was I supposed to interrogate a kid whose dad just died? I didn't even have Mimi to help me. Someone's coming. Shh. They're getting, they're getting closer. What are we gonna do? The safety in numbers, Mimi. Right. I'm gonna go look for more people. You stay here by yourself. What? Is it? No. Stay here alone. I'm vulnerable. I know where you were last summer, Mimi. I know what you did. Alfredo? Do you want me to tell Jamie about your addiction? Alfredo, stop. I'll stop when you tell me to stop. I, I just did. Oh. Sorry, I was upset you kicked me out. Can I stay here with you now? Yes, Jesus fucking Christ, yes. Oh, Otter. Have you been here the whole time? Fucking man. Voila. What could be better than two friends sharing a drink when one of those friends is the hand that feeds. Grabbing a bite with the hand that feeds. I like that. Sounds like a movie. Okay, here's the movie box. Suck my dick, Alexa. Please. Suck my fucking dick. No! No! Shut the fuck, bitch, shut the fuck up. Goodbye. That honestly ruined my whole, I'm gonna take a shit. Fresh out. I don't think I got the recipe that soup right. We should probably postmate something. Honestly, it's fucked my whole piping up. Okay. Yeah. Jesus, I didn't know that his dad was dead. I mean, I didn't even know Kim was kidnapped. What? I texted you about it literally eight times, and you, you responded afterwards. You said, sorry, can't talk right now, dealing with the weight of the world. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, I've been uh, super depressed lately. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, God. Ah, uh, that's not for me. Thank you. Look, I don't know how to say this, man. It's it's weird. But my friend got kidnapped. 
Kidnapped? You don't say. Rocketman, I'm very concerned to hear this. I have a vested interest in you and your sugar pine friends. Do you have any leads on the people that took him? No, but we're, um, we're, we're trying to figure it out. I have friends in Israeli intelligence. You say the word and I'll unleash the dogs. Can we just uh, talk about something else? This is gonna give me a panic attack. We can't, actually. I found out I have a lump on my prostate and your movie uh, got canceled. Fully canceled. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, nobody deserves to go through life without a dad. I'm sorry I, I bag and tagged you. Sorry I uh, kidnapped your friend there. Ideally, that's something we, we would appreciate not, you know, happening more than once. I'm sorry Jason made me. I, I, try, I thought it was a prank originally, but Jason just kept going. No, really, it's, it's fine. I know where Jason lives. We couldn't even recover the footage because the feds subpoenaed that shit. Do you speak German? I'm done. Finn. How's that for German, bitch? Best of luck, friend. Fuck. Yeah, what's up? James, we found Jason. What? He, he did? Yep, he is 14 and he lives with his parents. That makes perfect sense, actually. Let's go beat the shit out of a 14-year-old. <laughs> Wow, wasn't that great? Hey, if you want to see the previous episode, you can click here. And if you want to subscribe, why not click here in this space? <laughs> Those crazy guys. Is that alright? Can I go home now?